Ladies and gentlemen, are you looking at what I'm looking at? I may or may not have been freaking out for the past five minutes trying to work out what's inside the envelope. Alright guys, if you haven't seen part number one to the most ridiculous Pokemon card opening on the planet, I'm going to leave a link, top line in the description, you're going to watch that, and then you're going to watch this one, because my main man, Pokey Collect right here, who started up his own Pokemon boost back company, um, he sent us a whole mystery box of his brand new Pokemon boosters that are available on his site right now, he's like, Ando, I'm going to uh, send you a couple of packs, you can open it on the channel, everyone always loves when we crack open the Pokey Collect stuff, but... He also said, Ando, just as a thank you, I want to send you something ridiculous. I want to send you one card that's going to blow you so far out the water, you're not going to have your bathing shorts on afterwards. So after we said that, I was like, okay, it's real. And that's where we got the last envelope there from. So without further ado, let's run through a couple of these PokéClex boosters. And then without further ado, at the end of the episode, you and me are both going to find out what's inside of the PokéClex Open Last. But you know what? The best part is, we're just getting EX Holo Ninjas. Just like, you know what? There you go. That, you're welcome. That's just regular. So this was a super collection pack. So usually inside the sleeve, before you get to the top loader, a bunch of Holos, ultra rare stuff. Or maybe even an EX, a Swamper EX as well. So we'll put that one to the side, and then we crack open the top loader. So this being a super collection pack, it could be literally anything inside of this bad boy, including a tag team Greninja and Zoroark GX, and then... Oh my! Look at the blue! Look how ridiculous that color scheme is! Holy Ajumaima! This right here is the very first booster as well. You know what? I just know all of these are going to be bangers. On top of that as well, we still have to open pack 3... 4 and 5, which apparently have like ridiculous stuff in it as well. So let's open a premium mystery pack. See what's inside of one of these bad boys. Oh man, I tell you what. If we could make this whole channel PokéClex every single day opening. Oh no, oh no. I'm just gonna walk this one. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take this one for a walk. There's no, there's no hard feelings. Yeet! My apologies once again. I'm sorry everyone had to witness that. I just had to take uh, Beedrill for a quick walk out the stairs, but he's gone now, so we're all good. We've got a Frostmoth, Boltland, Medicharm Holo. I am loving the fact he ch like chucks in these EX Holo era stuff. Sweller Holo, then a Rayquaza Holo as well, and a Miss Magius to end it off. Now, what's inside of this top loader? I think I've Oh no. Oh my goodness! How ridiculously epic does that card look? It's a Lolan Executor GX Full Art and a Hidden Fates Quagsire. Oh! Dude, what are you doing? Dragon Hammer, Tower Go Round GX, and Tropical Head are the attacks. That is ridiculous. I absolutely love the yellow in the background on this card. It looks so good. I don't even know if it's yellow, it's more like pineapple yellow. So let's put you at the back right there. Chuck. Oh, no, we're going to put you at the back as well. Quagsire Shiny's going to go at the back. And then we've got a premium vintage pack. The only thing in here are going to be the top end vintage of town. Let's put that one to the side. Crack that one open. So we've got a Poliwag from the base set. Already a fantastic hit. Then we've got Abra as well. Grimer from Fossil. Then we've got a Rhyhorn walking around in the sand. We've got a Rattata. Energy Removal. Then Misty's Tentacle from uh, Gym Heroes, actually a really cool card, love the cameos in the artworks. Then a Tentacruel, out of Fossil, but what's it leading up to? What's the top loader pool going to be? How about none other than a Hollow Jungle card and a first edition Jungle Executor? That is amazing! Alright, so a first edition banger right there. Looks in like really good condition. Like if we were to get it graded, it would come back a decent grade. And then we've also got this, which is just ridiculous. A hollow pincer. I mean, there's a bit of a mark there, but I guess like, you know what? If there's any errors, you just pop it straight into your binder and that's one of your raw collections. Pincer hollow already. What are we like three boosters in? Good. Oh my gosh. All right. These ultra rare only packs send me sideways. I tell you what, it's game over when I see these bad boys. Because you always get like GXs, EXs in this sleeve, right? And then you get to the top loader, Glaceon EX, Salamence GX, and a Rillaboom Flipping V. But then you get to here, right? 
Get to the top loader. This is where it all lands. Get the sleeve out. Pull the sleeve. Oh, gosh. The fact this is straight after part number one as well is ridiculous. We got the tag team, Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. Are you holding on to your bike shorts? Because we've got a full art Lucario GX. No way. That is, look at this shard glass pattern in the background. Already the color scheme on this card is so fantastic, but then you add Lucario onto it. That's amazing. All right, Aurora Strike, full art. Put you at the back, and then we've got Mega Sableye and Tyranitar to go to the side. I mean, yes, we're going to try and do another recap today. I don't think we're going to put all the yesterday's cards in there because I just did a recap of yesterday and that was already bananas. It went all throughout all of that flooring right there. So I think it'd be quite crazy if we had to recap both parts together. But we'll definitely do whatever we get today. I'm really curious as to what's in those final couple of top loaders. Appleton's in here, my boy. We got Otakuno, Typhlosion. Some of these cards, you just know, in like 10 years, they're going to go up in value. That Gyarados looks sick, Kyogre, Swampert Ancient Trait, then a Sylveon EX with an EV cameo. Looking good, out of rating collection. What was this? Another super collection pack. So I'll put you... Oh my gosh, I just saw the next one. Oh wow, Burning Shadows Charizard GX. Nothing to sneeze at at all. And then a Steelix EX. Oh wow, that's really dark and menacing, isn't it? The color scheme on that bad boy is quite brooding. It's like, I'm Steelix and you can barely see me, but I'm coming to attack you. The gold lines really make it. Dude, I'm sorry, I sort of stare, I, I forget that I'm recording sometimes. I sort of just start staring at the cards a bit too much. But yeah, some of these full arts I haven't seen in a hot minute. Full art god pack, these are probably one of my favorites. Let me know in the comment section below, when you buy boosters off Pokeclex, what are you buying? Like, what's your favorite go-to packs? I'm very curious. I think my go-to ones at the moment, so the Full Art God Packs, I love them. Super Collection Packs are good because I can get a good variety. This is ridiculous. We've already got the Frost of Flakes mascot in Cinnaroar. Then we go and get Sable IV and a Full Art Team Yelgrunt. But then, what is going to be inside of the top loader right now? Let's pop open the sleeve. Oh no, here we go. Lapras VMAX. G-Max pump right there as the attack. And then we swing Lapras around. Oh, and there's a Hooper EX full art card. That is gorgeous. I remember when I was on a hunt for this card. Like, I really wanted it. This is ridiculous. I love the rainbow background. The all pink down there. Bit of green, bit of yellow. But let's get going. You know what? No time to sort of pause. Let's put all the full arts that we just got. Even the VMAXs, which uh, I'm very keen to read your opinion. Do you think VMAXs count as full art cards or not? They've got... VMAXs have the same texture, so... What do we got here? Japanese Ultimate Collection Pack. Okay, we just ripped the front door off that one. Gee whiz. Let's open you up, and we've got a couple of... Oh, these are always good. A couple of sleeves, and we're going to have a Japanese collection after opening up one of these, which I think is a really good idea. So let's go through all the Shard Glass Reverse cards. Torchic as well. Then a Deancey Hollow. Then a Ninetales First Edition. 2016 uh, Evolutions card right there. Holo. I want to put that in the back. It's so good. Charizard Holo. Then a Rosa. Then a Cherish Ball. Okay, let's move on to the second booster right here. Swing it around. We got a Kangaskhan with the two Raichus as cameos. Alolan Executor. Malamar. Haxorus there as well. Classic Voltorbs with the cameos. Rhyperia. Gyarados. Character Art Gallade. Then a Solgaleo Prism card. Followed up by Japanese Curlia from Hidden Fates. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't go wrong with the Shining card. I'm sorry, but it's very hard to. Especially when it's the Japanese one too. These are slowly going up in value. I'm putting it in the back because someone tweeted me recently like, Endo, I know you have a completed set of this. It's actually going up. Whoa! That's the uh, KMEX Mega Battle stamp right there. Garchomp, Mega Garchomp EX stamped promo. That's really cool. I'm gonna put you at the back. I like that. Zamaz, oh my goodness! Zamaz and the V. Then a tag team Charizard GX. What's gonna be in this one? There's only three boosters after this, by the way, so it's all over. Another stamp full art. They're like, I don't know what they're snacking on, but Evie and uh, Snorlax over here, they're having some good chicken tenders or something. It could get a bit weird, but we're not gonna think about it like that. And then, oh my goodness! Dude, this
this is just an irregular schmegular pack. Maybe if he said literally got these Japanese collection packs for sale, I would probably buy it because look at this Chorizon V Max. Are you kidding me? All right, put you at the back, Chorizon V Max. This recap is gonna go off right now. This is a premium mystery pack. So you don't know what you're gonna get, but there's gonna be premium cards inside. Shouldn't be a single dud. Reverse Golduck to start it off. Holo, I mean, reverse uh, Gyarados out of Evolutions. Raichu, Golurk from back in the black and white era. Got a really nice Holo Umbreon right there. I get around my Holo Umbreons. Gyarados, Sylveon. I know you guys love Sylveon. Then what are they going to chuck in? The good old top loader right here. Oh, no. Darkrai EX with Dark Pulse and a Radiant Collection. Reshiram Fuller. Look at this though. Look how hand drawn that card is. You can see the original text box swirls right there. That right there is a definition of an amazing full art card. That's what I think they should all kind of look like. I mean, yeah, it's got a few chips and stuff up the top, so probably not, you wouldn't want to grade it. But I don't think I ever would grade these full arts. Like, there's very few full arts nowadays that I would grade, unless they're brand new or they're really epic. Um, but cards like that, where they're only worth about like 18, 20 bucks, you sort of just want them as a collection piece. So it doesn't really matter if they're slightly damaged or whatever. I mean, I can't complain at all. We got a Ho Ho EX, I love that card. Xerneas GX and a More Pico V. I remember when More Pico was like really popular. Everyone wanted a More Pico V. Latios and Latios GX right there. And uh, it's just okay. Just a full uh, Dragonite GX to end off the booster. No worries. That is really chubby and really cute. So clean and 3D as well, that artwork. Let's put Dragonite at the back, and then we're going to put Latios and Latios to the side. Okay, so we've got a Japanese GX God pack, and then a custom pack, and that's it. That's going to be the end. Japanese GX God pack. What could possibly be in here that we haven't got already? I just feel like that Charizard V Max was like the be all and end all. Jirachi GX, looking good. Skeptile GX, then a Blastoise GX, okay. What's going to be in the top loader then? A Mew and Mewtwo from Unified Minds as the tag team card GX, and a Rainbow Rare, a Lolan and regular Muck tag team full art. That is beautiful. 120 on the attack. You can kind of see the blobby texture in the background, which represents like the Pokemon super well. I love that. It's like random detail that I don't think normal people would sort of appreciate. They'd sort of go, oh, whatever, Rainbow Rare, trade it off. But Pokemon, they do think of each Pokemon as if like they're someone's favorite. Custom pack. Now, he's done a custom pack like once or twice before, and usually it like aligns with my taste and what I really like, because he, he does this brand new thing on his website where you can literally tell him like, dude, I love GXs, I love full arts, and vintage, make me a custom pack. So I think this is, oh my goodness, he's right. Look at that Articuno, guys. How good does that card look? Articuno GX, Dialga EX? No way. Mega Beedrill EX? I remember opening that collection box to you guys. We're gonna Snorlax V, then a Hex Maniac full art with a Pokeball. Dude, no way! We got Latios EX as well. Then we got more Pico V Max. And let's keep it going. No way! First edition Neo Destiny Psyduck Claymation form. Oh no. First edition Sabrina's Kadabra. First edition Slowbro. Meow from Jungle. Then a Krabby. Then a promo. Pokemon League Houndoom in the reverse scratch print. That is stunning. Okay, Crimson Invasion stamped Holo Registeel, then a Zygarde Fates Collide stamped promo, then an Eevee and Snorlax out that tin eating their chicken skewers again. Holo promo Black Star Eevee. Absolutely gorgeous card. There is a video on my channel, right? That's a beautiful card. It's sick and it's rare, right? But this legit, there's a video. I can't remember what it is. Mailman Monday something. If you remember it, leave it in the comments for me. But this Toys R Us employee sent me 200 of them. I kid you, I have 200 of them. And I can't remember the video, but I found it definitely. Oh! Man's nailed it with these customs, I swear. Cooper GX, oh wow. It's none other than Nihilego right there from Shiny Vault. That is a Pokemon you rarely ever see in a Pokemon card, isn't it? I mean, both of these, to be honest. Hooper, Rainbow Rare, I rarely see in general. And this card, I rarely see as well. 
Lock up and Symbiont GX. Probably absolutely butchering that attack name, I feel like. I'm gonna put you guys at the back because you're very special, but we are down to the final, I don't know what these are, individual booster pack thingies. So let's open up three, then we'll do four, then we'll do five. I feel like that's a good method. So use the scissors, open that up right there. Try not to uh, damage the Pokemon cards inside because I don't know what they are. So pack number three contains, not even too bad. A really, really big fan favorite, Toxtricity VMAX and a Malamar VMAX as well. The newer Japanese stuff too, which is really popular right now. That is beautiful. All right, Malamar VMAX and Toxtricity VMAX, you guys can go at the back right there. So put you there, and then we've got booster pack number four. Seems to be English cards from what I see at the back. So let's open up the uh, seal of approval there and see what's inside of pack number four. Oh, no way. Oh my goodness! Rainbow Rare, Inteleon VMAX, look at the glitter! And a Boom, the flipping starters! Of course it has to be! Scratch and Max beating with 130 as the attacks. Gosh, Rillaboom is such a beautiful like, Pokemon card in general with that uh, glitter. And then Inteleon too. Which one do you guys like more out of these two like Rainbow Rares? Which one are you going for? Let me know in the comment section below. I mean, there's no score bunny there, so it's super hard for me to decide. I mean, uh, I'd leave that up to you guys. And we are on the final one. The pack number five. What do you reckon is going to be inside of this one? I'm a bit scared, because if it was leading up like that, and we just got rainbow rares... And they're English too, they're not even Japanese ones. Oh, no way, no way, what the flip is this? Yeah. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? Dude, and it's Cinderace! I'm done! I am literally done from recording! I can't! Is it? Okay, you don't understand. You do, I don't think you guys understand how badly... Okay, Cinderace VMAX already. Fantastic. Ridiculous. This is the one last card that I need in from Rebel Clash. That's it, I'm done. I've pulled Frostmoth. Holy smokes! He sent me a Galarian Berserker! A shiny Galarian Berserker. Oh, I'm so done. But okay, okay. The part that has me freaking out. The part that's made me lose my mind right now is what I'm thinking. This is in pack number five. Galarian Berserker gold card. What's in that? What's in open last? Look how beautiful that thing looks. It's ridiculous. Okay. We're going to put him at the back. Oh, gosh, it looks so good. Steely Spirit and then Metal Claw as the attack. Um, but I'm gonna quickly... Oh, I can't believe we just did that. I can't believe on the very last one we just did that. But seriously, what's in here? I'm gonna try and focus this up. Predictions, everyone in the comments. Maybe it's a thumbnail. I don't know. Let's see what it is. You ready? Three, two, one. Bah! Oh, here we go. It's around the other way. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh, oh my god. Oh no, I'm back here again. Welcome, Ando, for you have made it to the zone that only few collectors can ever say they've made it. The completed Charizard zone. Uh, yeah, look, Arceus, this is all great. I know the Charizard zone looks crazy, looks fancy, but like... I'm gonna be honest, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go back to the studio. I kinda wanna just have a look at my, my Rainbow Rare Charizard I just got. Don't don't really wanna be here. Uh, and oh, you, you do realize you, you've completed every search for anything. You're like done with collecting Pokemon cards. You can just remain here. I don't know how to tell you this, dude, but like there's still so many cards I need to get. So I'm literally, I'm dipping. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back. I'll, I'll keep collecting Pokemon cards, thanks bud. Oh my goodness, I'm starting to think Ando's never gonna stop collecting cards in his life. Ladies and flipping gentlemen, this right here is the video to end every single upload I've ever done on Unlisted Leaf, period. For we have just found it. We have literally just gone and got none other than the one, the only, Final Infinity Stone that Endo needs to complete his gauntlet right here. It is Rainbow Red Charizard! Out of Burning Shadows. Wing Attack, Crimson Storm. Okay, no, forget that. We gotta get this PSA graded because I've got the Shining Charizard right. Um, I've got this in Japanese as well. 
I've basically got every Charizard. Oh, and this is the final one. Is it gradable? I think it is. Let's take it out of this um, Ultra Pro right here. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. I can't believe we just did it. I honestly can't believe that we got the Rainbow Road Charizard and Galarian Gold Berserker in one individual video. PokeClix, I think I love you. Oh man, if you guys haven't checked out the website down in the description, definitely go do that. Holy smokes, I mean maybe it's maybe it's like a little miscut because of that's a bit bigger than that. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comment section below. Are you thinking it's a 9 or a 10 or an 8? I don't know. Let me know, but holy Aunt Jemima, it looks good. I've done it. I've never had one of these in English, period, ever in my life. Raging out. That is nuts. Crimson Storm has 300. Oh my. I can't believe I'm showing this on flipping video right now. And this right here is in the same... Okay, you, I don't even know where to start with this commentary, but honestly, if we grade this, gets a PSA 10, it's worth around $3,000. This is a $3,000 card, but then the crazy part, right? Put this back in the sleeve. Oh gosh, I'm dying a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm shaking so hard, it won't go on the sleeve. Oh guys, if you haven't liked the video, please, I'm begging you. This is my favorite one I've ever recorded. The Galarian Berserker though, this bad boy right here, we gotta grade, I wanna grade him because I've graded my shiny frost moth. It's gonna go perfectly with that. Oh, it's such a beautiful card. So then put both of these together. This, that's it. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, how we are doing this recap right now is I've literally just got the full art cards and that's gonna be it, okay? Because honestly, if we go too far into it and we start doing like, all the vintage, the regular EXs and all that, I think it'd go for five hours long. So let me quickly show you all the full art cards we pulled in just this today's episode. Just out of, these are out of regular Pokey Collects boosters, which I'm gonna link down in the description if you guys do wanna purchase any of these. Um, I don't think he's sold out of too many at the moment. They go fast. I know we sell out the store every time we do a video, but I think all of the full art boosters are in stock. So if you guys want to try your luck and get any of these, maybe, I'll leave a link down below. But these are just out of regular packs. These aren't anything too crazy. Because we were just opening this. It was bananas. It was a super fun opening. All of these cards are ridiculous. And I've got to do a bind update. Like, for sure. But, these are the VMAXs too. We get to the Rainbow Rares. This is where it gets slightly insane. It gets slightly crazy. And this is where the collection goes bananas. And then... The brand new Rainbow Rare VMAX cards, Cinder Ace, one of my favorites. Then we've got Inteleon VMAX. Then a Rillaboom VMAX. Look at the sparkle. Looks absolutely unreal. I love it. And then, this is it. Charizard VMAX to start things off. This is where it massages us into the most ridiculous opening ever. It's like, Ando, have a Charizard VMAX. There you go. That is literally the third best pull you're going to get today. The third. So the second best pull, easily gonna be, let's make sure we don't damage anything, Galarian Golden Perserker, which looks like it's in such mint condition. Thank you so much, man. I can't believe I did this in one video. Metal Claw and Steely Spirit. I comp I just like, it, it's perfect. This video is so perfect, because you know what it does? Gives us a clean slate. No more Burning Shadows need to be like, we need to waste hundreds of dollars on Burning Shadows now. Done, we've got the Charizard. No need to waste hundreds of dollars on Rebel Clash. We've got the Galarian Berserker. I've got it. You know what? I think that one of the next uploads in the channel has to be a PSA send-off update because I've got so many cards, especially after opening every booster ever made. There's um a lot of you guys pointed out there's a lot of cards I need to get graded out of that set, so um we gotta do an update, I think. I've got to send off some more cards, especially this one right here, and especially the Golden Galarian Berserker. I think I'm going to end the video there, guys. I'm speechless. I can't believe we did this in the video. This may be the most viewed video on the channel, and I wouldn't even be surprised. So make sure you click subscribe. We're trying to get to 2 million. If this doesn't do it, I don't know what will. <laughs> Have a fantastic day and keep on gaming. I love you so much, guys. I appreciate every single view. I'll see you later. Wow.